Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Intune training series. This is the series number 6. In case if you have not watched previous lectures, please do check out the links which are given within this video description. You can also check out the YouTube playlist for Microsoft Intune training series. Now let's begin to understand about complaints policies and configuration profile within this lecture. So. Let's try to understand what exactly device complaints policy. So the defined rules and settings that are set for the users or maybe for the devices must be made as per your complaint policy. So that's called complaints policy, meaning let's say you define a device specific setting that any device that is coming to your organization data which is storing must be encrypted with BitLocker or maybe the mission must be running with the latest build number that could be one of the uh, rule or maybe uh, the device must have an antivirus and also it should have the windows firewall these are the settings that you can define as a rule uh, and that can be measured with the complaints point of view so that you can take an action saying that if the device is not meeting you can send the email alert to the person who is enrolled or who owns that device or maybe to help desk so that they can work on on the issue with the end user and they can remediate the complaints problems so that's called complaints policy and this is a very important and we can also work with the complaints policy with a combination of azure active directory conditional access policies so that if a if a device is not meet any of the conditions like it is not compliant in Intune then the access will be either granted or can be blocked or stopped so that's how you can configure the configuration which we will be looking into later sections for now I hope you have understand about complaints policy complaints policy simply where you can define the rules and the settings that the users or the devices must meet the compliance otherwise it will report back us in the in the format of the console or you can send the email alert now let's try to understand about the configuration profile a configuration profile is a setting that can be automatically configured on the devices let's say you want to apply some config kind of group policy settings or do you want to configure some printer or some kind of the settings on those devices that can be automatically achieved with the help of configuration profiles and these profiles consist of different settings and that has been completely categorized into different settings let's see you can also have within the configuration profile when you go go to the Microsoft endpoint manager admin center you will have something called administrative templates which consist of a lot of a uh, lot of uh, group policy specific settings and baselines can be applied which are recommended by Microsoft and also settings catalog and templates a lot of other settings which are available and you can configure according to the settings that are falls under a configuration profile type and these profile types we will be creating against to the each platform let's go to microsoft endpoint manager admin center and have a look on it navigate to microsoft endpoint manager admin center go to devices within these devices you have an option for complaints policies and configuration profiles but if you remember i did also explain try to always learn if you're if you're the starter if you just started to learn please go and visit with by platform not on from a policy point of view this really helps to understand what we are trying to do let's say if you're trying to you know configure the compliance policies or configuration profiles with respect to a, a platform you can just go ahead and configure for that specific platform in this case if it's a windows devices you have an option for complaints policies and configuration profiles so this is where you can configure by creating a policy let's say if this is a test policy which is going to apply for windows 10 devices or later including windows 11 then i can give this is a test policy and i have a five different categories which i can choose like a security point of view 
I can see that the device must have a password to be configured with the complexity passwords or maybe a firewall to be enabled or TPM to be available on the hardware and antivirus settings and spyware and defender settings should be configured. So these settings will be measured if it is not configured it's gonna uh, take some kind of action automated action for you on those devices let's say you can send an email or you can actually retire the device which is non-compliant meaning if the device is not compliant then we can simply say retire meaning we'll take out all the company data information so that the device cannot communicate further and we secure the device uh, not to access anything so these are the configurations that can be configured uh, for the complaints policies. Similarly, if you're configuring for Android or maybe Mac devices or iOS devices, it's one and the same, almost similar settings, similar way you would be you know, configuring based on the platform wise. So in this case, complaints policies I can create. And similarly here, I'm just giving a name called test. In this case, click on next and complaints policies. So here I have a different settings, but almost these are the similar category of the settings. Let's say I can define here device properties like the minimum version, maximum version of the operating system, including the, including the build version I can choose. And let me show you for Android also. In this case, I can click on compliance policies and try to create a policy for Android Enterprise and the profile type would be either if you are using for the personal devices specific profile or maybe a corporate device meaning a device was bought by a company company owned devices or maybe a personal owned or nothing but a bring your own device concept you can you could create and similar settings it's gonna apply so let me show you that policy so you have here the security like a passcode all of that and the device properties minimum version maximum version and the device health specific and defender antivirus specific all these are quite common settings that are available on all of these devices by platform if you what if if you go with this configuration like a compliance policies this is almost one and the same but it will uh, give you one more filter here either you want to configure with ios or mac or windows 10 and you can choose a similar setting so it's one and the same almost the configuration so that concludes about the compliance policies let's try to conclude what we understand so far about the compliance policies within microsoft intune world so Within this Microsoft Intune, you could actually define some of the rules or some of the settings that all the users or the devices that are targeted for this compliance policies must meet uh, these settings or the rules. If not, we would be treated that as non-compliant and you can actually take some kind of an actions on those non-compliant devices. Like you could set an alert or conditional a condition saying that non compliances or safeguard data on those non compliance devices. Let's say if the device was non compliant from the last 30 days, you could simply retire, right? So you could take an action, such kind of thing. And also, it's very useful in terms of utilizing this compliance policy with a combination of Azure AD conditional access. So Azure AD conditional access will uh, give you further level of uh, access where you can block the users or the devices that do not meet the complaints rules that you defined and uh, that's that's a very interesting i think and we would be you know going through this compliance policy creation pol uh, creation thing by platform for all different type of devices this is just kind of you know introduction about compliance policy so that you know what is a vocabulary and you know exactly what i'm trying to refer in case if we jump into different uh, platforms when we try to create the compliance policies now let's try to understand about the configuration profiles which is a very bigger uh, subject and it does a lot of automation job for you and it does that configuration that what you are maybe you know thinking that i want a specific setting to be automatically configured on those devices if that X needs to be configured, then you might have to look into the device profiles. So let me show you that device profiles also. As I explained earlier, if you're a beginner, please try to go by platform and try to learn. Let's say by platform, I want to configure for maybe Windows. I could go here and configure for configuration profiles. What if I, if I am a iOS or iPad OS specific, I could do it again configuration profile. Similarly for Mac, 
same thing one and the same in fact and for Android you could also do the similar configuration with the configuration profile but if you're an advanced user you could uh, navigate directly from here configuration profile and then you might have to choose your based on the platform so instead of by platform you would uh, select it here what platform you're targeting the specific device configuration profile so I would like to configure for Windows uh, one test policy just you know give you uh, an idea of what exactly we are trying to learn with the device profile policy so you could just click on uh, devices by platform Windows and go and navigate your configuration profiles so when you take the uh, create a policy for Windows 10 devices you have two options one would be the catalog which is a completely new which talks about all the group policies no matter 99 percentage all the group policy settings are available here let's say I want to configure maybe um, some GPU settings so let's go here and uh, add settings and navigate uh, by administrator templates and I can choose your control panel settings let's say I want to hide or maybe do some kind of settings I could do here hide or all of that specific settings so you have very similar settings if you are the GPU admin if you ever walked you might know that it's actually referring to the admin templates like start menu printer network all of that stuff can be configured and if you remember what we have tried is we tried with the settings catalog within profiles within the configuration profile you also have an option for configuring a template a template is the Microsoft define some of the settings or the categorized let's see if you're trying to deal with the certificates you might have to um, look at a category uh, for a template name under certificates like skip certificates maybe um, PKC certificates or if you're looking for a kiosk specific that might be there or Windows Defender specific so what happened is Microsoft has configured some of the settings into the uh, into the template so those templates you could directly utilize so that you can configure let's say I want to configure uh, a machine to be automatically joined to a domain you could do domain join functionality here or maybe Devo that is a delivery optimization settings you want to apply on your entire machines you could do that delivery optimization settings and device restriction settings all these are the configurations which are available let's say there's a user who's traveling to a different um, location from his work location let's say the work location consists uh, a Wi-Fi settings as a uh, work location and when he visit the manufacturing unit there could be a, a Wi-Fi is available and the user should get that Wi-Fi profile automatically configured for that so you could configure that kind of you know, Wi-Fi settings automatically including the VPN and trusted certificates also can be too so these are the automated settings that you can enforce on the machines to get it uh, configure automatically for you on those devices that's what the configuration profile does and this is just settings for Windows and how about for iOS and iPad so these things also remain similar but the settings might change or the categories might change so you might have to look into it okay and uh, let's say there's a settings you want to configure maybe on a Mac device you can do it again configuration profile but what if if what if if that specific device settings are not available you might have to look at custom specific and uh, then you can you know create a custom specific rules to configure if you can recall about OMA URI settings which we talked about that's a protocol so it works on that protocol so you could actually contact the principal vendor or you could write OMA URI specific settings so that that specific settings can be fulfilled in case if it is not offered by Microsoft uh, you could contact the vendor or you could actually create a OMA URI specific settings if you know it then that would address those settings to configure automatically this is the same case with every uh, configuration it's not just the which I have shown for Android or maybe Mac everywhere you have these custom settings or available you could do it definitely you can create the configuration profile so I would 
like to conclude here for the configuration profiles which will allow you to add a configuration settings on those devices and you can push those settings to those devices so that uh, the instead of the manual configuration the automation would happen by using configuration profiles on a different type of devices either it could be a bring your own device or corporate device or even it could be a, a different uh, device pla by platform let's say android or ipad devices now these uh, configuration profiles has a different templates and those templates are uh, you could use it to achieve those automated configuration for you or for the configuration settings are available in the form of templates or baselines so this is what the microsoft intune uh, compliance policies and configuration profiles this is just an overview and we would be definitely working on these things in the upcoming lectures thank you for watching if you like this please do like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this